All right, folks, welcome back to another Budget Gem or Budget Bust. Uh, this is different this week. Normally, I have an unboxing and an amp dyno, and that's kind of the cadence. It's been the kind of the cadence for me this whole time, other than whenever I've had a used amp come in here. Uh, that is not going to be the stick case today because I have a super heavy amplifier that... Uh, <laughs> You know, even as uh, above averagely sized as I am, this is kind of a pain in the ass to get out of its box. Uh, this is the Lanzer OptiDrive 4000D. This is 35 pounds of amp wonderfulness. That is enormous in every single sense of the word. I mean, we're talking over 24 and a half inches long. It is wide. It is 11 inches wide and <laughs> it's over three inches tall. So yes, my friends, you will not be putting one of these under the seat of your Corolla. This amp is gonna need some, some real estate if you're gonna install one of these. Um, these amps have been out for a long time. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually surprised they're still on the market um, I got out of car audio back in 2006 when kind of my work career kind of started dominating my life and it's 2018 now and I'm amazed to still see the OptiDrive 4000D still being produced. Um, there were several other amplifiers in the past that used a similar design to this like the Soundstream XXX 6500D, uh, Ground Zero Plutonium uh, 6000D. So the design's been around for a long time for the circuit board. The amp has been around for a long time. And a lot of people that use them swear by them. So I picked this one up on eBay for $379 from Deal Buys. And uh, there'll be a link in the description below that you can check out if you want to check them out. Turns out Deal Buys is actually the parent company or is related to the parent company of Lanzar. So... 379 I actually got a legit warranty. Woohoo! Good for me. So, since I'm not doing unboxing, let me at least show you what does come in the box. So, you get a remote base knob. You can see here, this is the box for it. Let me uh, open it up. And uh, it is a metal one. At least I one of the screws fall out on me. So, I'll probably step on that and cry pretty nice looking it's it's very simplistic there's no lights there's no clipping indicator or anything like that very simple regular opti base knob in here you have two cables um, these are the telephone style rj 145s uh, one of these is for the base knob and one of these is to link the two amps together and strap them and of course over here you have your warranty card owner's manual uh, looks like uh, warranty registration as well as the Allen keys and screws you need to set this amplifier and mount it up. Very nicely finished amplifier. You can see this has got a nice uh, stainless steel look to it. Um, one of the nicer looking amps that I've ever actually had on the test bench before. Um, other than maybe say the OptiDrive 700 X2 that I tested a while back. And in truth, I still own that amplifier. Uh, that was one that I decided to keep. So um, I consider me one of the people that is a fan or coming into this test, a fan of the OptiDrives. So uh, we're gonna dyno this here in a little bit, but before we do that, let's walk around the amp and uh, see how you hook one of these up and how you set one up. Along this side of the amplifier, we find our power ground, uh, remote connection, as well as our speaker terminals. And uh, these terminals are pretty beefy, uh, as it should be for a 4,000 watt amplifier. Uh, as you can see here, no problem getting zero gauge wire both into the power and ground. And this is four gauge, this is a four gauge reducer. No problem at all getting into those speaker terminals. And, uh, you know, since this is a 4,000 watt amplifier, I really would have preferred if they doubled up these power and grounds. Now you can use a, a two to one zero gauge reducer 
and that'll give you most of what you need. But I really would prefer if they doubled these up, especially for 4,000 watts. And of course, along this side of the amplifier, we have all of our settings, as well as our RCA inputs and outputs. Uh, right here is your gain control. That is, uh, doesn't have a voltage uh, associated with it. Um, over here, you have your subsonic filter, which is adjustable from 15 to 40 hertz. Of course, your bass boost. Don't touch that, but it's 0 to 12 dBs. You have your uh, remote uh, connector right here for your remote base knob. Uh, this is the RJ145 style, so this will be nice and firm uh, for its connection. You have your low pass filter, which is good from 250 hertz down to 50 hertz. Phase shift up to zero and 180 degrees. And yes, you can strap these. So this is your switch between slave and master. And here is your data link. Um, you would actually use two RJ145 connectors to link two of these 4,000 watt amps together. In case you really need 8,000 watts. Uh, yeah. All right. Nothing left to do here but to strap up the Opti Drive 4000D up to the amp dyno and find out how much this beautiful looking amplifier puts out on the amp dyno. Is it overrated? Is it underrated? accurately rated i don't know that's why we do the tests uh, i will say it looks the part but does it really have what's inside that matters we're going to find out i'll talk to you after the test Okay, folks, final thoughts here on the OptiDrive 4000D from Lanzar. Uh, as you saw in the results, we did not quite get our rated power, both certified and uncertified. Even if I correct for 14.4 volts, um, you end up in the 3000, like 3200 watt range uh, on certified. Uncertified, you get closer to the 4000 watts maybe a little bit under it's possible uncertified it could have got there um if i had raised the gain up maybe would have kept building i'm not sure if i had 14.4 if i had everything 
maybe uncertified, it would have gotten 4,000 watts. Dynamically over 4,200 watts. So, yeah, you can say that this amp is a 4,000 watt amplifier and not really be lying about it. Um, even still, even if I say, okay, this is a 3,000 watt amplifier, for 379 bucks, I'm gonna have to still call this a budget gem, my friends. Um, it's brand new. The insides are built really well. <laughs> it's got more than enough heat sink to cool this thing off. Um, it's it's not really a bad amplifier. Now, you got to make sure if you do decide you want to run one of these at some point. I mean, this is beyond just, I did a big three and added a second battery. This is batteries. This is upgraded alternator. I mean, you saw one ohm. 570 plus amps draw. Uh, yeah, this thing is not, <laughs> this thing is not super efficient. <laughs> but, I mean... I think it's because it's an older looking design. Um, this, this amp was made to make power. It really was like efficiency be damned. Um, everything is about as kind of over the top as we, as we talked about earlier. So um, I, I do believe this is a gem. Just make sure you have enough power to run it. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this one even though it's, it falls a little bit short. Pretty short on the certified rating. But um, that's it for me. I've got plenty of amps to test. Um, as I talked about first, I have the Opti 4001D here, which is a newer design. And we're gonna strap that one up here in a couple of weeks. And we're gonna see here just which one of these is the better. Some people say it's the 4000. Maybe it's the 4001. We will find out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.